Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Google Jules has published two new features. One feature is this Jules API and another one is this Jules CLI. So these are two important things and one by one I will show you the step by step process and also the setup. So please stay with me till the end because if you understand these features and if you use these features then you will get the best of best output and also here I will provide one link uh, for this Jules API setup for the front end and back end and how it actually works. Let me show you. So first let me start with this uh, Jules API. So here you see that saving the best for last. So they have just published this feature today. Integrate Jules capability directly into your own system applications and CI CD pipelines. The API is designed to make Jules a programmable member of your engineering team. So what they are telling that suppose you are building one project and in that project there are many tasks that is you can do with this Jules. Now here what was happening that Jules have their own interface. So this is the website Jules.google. So if you go to their uh, web interface there you can attach uh, your GitHub account and there you can select the repository and you can keep the task. So that was the manual things that we can do uh, in their web version. But now if you integrate or if you want to integrate that Jules capability in your projects in every um, every path like uh, you can say that uh, when you will deploy your project using the CI CD there you want to integrate the Jule and if there is any uh, issue during the code merge or during the CI CD pipeline run then this Jule agent will automatically fix that issue. Okay, so if you want to integrate this kind of feature or let's say that uh, you want to build your own uh, code generation system. So in that case, you can use this Jules API and also they will provide one API key. So uh, using that you can build your own AI code generation system. Let me show you that how it actually works. Here you see that they have given this Jules API. Uh, this is the documentation official and uh, how it actually works here you see that first you have to do the login in their jules.google.com official website and after that you have to connect your github account now when you will connect that here you see that the first step one is this list your available resources and here if you see this uh, official documentation they have given this card so what is the meaning of curl that you can actually do the get request and post request and when you do the when you are uh, allowed to do the uh, get request and post request the meaning is that you can use it in your backend or frontend api call and here you see that i have uh, just generated some of the ai codes using the cloud so i will keep this artifact link in description you will get the idea so here you see that this is the base url and here if you give this api key and after that you can write this kind of function like list the sources and you can call that API key and this is your endpoint slash sources. Okay and I have just got it from their official documentation here you see if you just uh, copy this call and uh, if I run it in my postman here you see if I just click on the send you will see that uh, this is the output. That you see all of my github repositories name and all of that information the branch name that is available so if you want to integrate as like a, a front end plus back end then you can call this api and uh, you will get the list of uh, uh, branches and you can show it in your interface so in that case what will happen the interesting thing is that you can build your your own version of jewel okay you don't have to use their google jewels you can build your own jewels okay this is the actually advantage and also they have given the API key. So how you can get that? So follow my cursor. Just go to this Google uh, jules.google.com web version and on the right hand side beside the profile you will find this setting option go there and here just scroll down here you see that you will find this API key. So as I have created my own API key already here you see so that's why this create key button is disabled but in your case if you have not created any api key then it will be enabled and here you see that on hovering it is showing that uh, cannot create more than one key so only one api key is allowed to create and also if you want you can delete this it is your choice and how to use it here you see that uh, let me show you so after this uh, call you can give your own api key okay so this is the call 
and here just keep your own api key and call it in postman and you will get the output and otherwise if you integrate it in your backend and just like a project what do we do we do a, we do we build a backend we build a front end and here also the same thing you build the backend and there you will use this base url this is the base url and how you will get that here you see this is the base url and just give your api key here okay this is the api key basically you are making that jules api client and after that list of sources and after that create session so what we were doing there so just uh, go here here you see that we were uh, creating a new session and here we are giving the task so same thing here also available here you see that create a new session and after that uh, you can uh, list the sessions and approve the plan and you can keep the task activities and interacting with the agent so these all apis are available and it is actually a great and it is it will be uh, helpful for all of the individual plus the uh, you can say enterprise level uh, that uh, customers okay so please do check out and please try it with your own uh, code base and also please try to make something new with this tools api this is very much helpful okay and the next thing that i will talk about is this um, this jewel cli so this is also very interesting and people are getting confused between the gemini cli and jewel cli what is the difference so actually uh, what i have found that gemini cli is actually more kind of iteration task okay and if you want to do some kind of complex task then you should go with the jewels that is the definition and that is the difference that i have found from the internet but i am also not sure that why they are separating this uh, Jules CLI and Gemini CLI. Actually, these uh, two things are very complicating for the users. But means people are getting very um, frustrated, right? That uh, why uh, same uh, organization Google is publishing different CLI, and there is no clue that uh, for which purpose we should use which one. Okay, Gemini CLI is also based. Jules CLI is also based. Then I think they should merge both of them jules cli and gemini cli but it is their choice but i think that you should use uh, both of them and if you found that uh, jules cli is powerful then you, you can go with the jules cli and if you found that gemini cli is best then you can go for the gemini cli so for that you have to just test it and how to install it here you see that they have given one comment npm install minus g google's jules and also they have given one block so first uh, let me install it open my uh, terminal or command prompt and they are just paste it press enter so it will be installed globally so in the meantime let me open this link okay let me open this link okay so if i open it how do you see meet jules tools a command line companion for google's async coding agent okay so how do you see that uh, Okay, here also you, you can do the same thing. So actually the thing is that uh, whatever the things that we were doing in their web interface, now you can do the same thing in the uh, terminal also. So these are the comments that they have given. A remote list task and Joel's theme light and a remote list task repo and assign multiple sessions, pipe GitHub issues directly to Joel's and okay you can use a gemini cli also with this jewel cli but i am very happy with the uh, with their web interface this is very simple and beginner friendly and i don't know uh, why they are complicating these things because you will get the same things in this jewel cli also okay so basically the difference is that you are not using the web interface you are using the cli so let's see that the status Okay, when installing this Jewel CLI, it is telling that it is not supported in Windows. They have just uh, published it for the Linux and Mac users only. I don't know why they have done it because they should have remembered the Windows users also, right? So this is very bad. I am totally disappointed with it. And uh, those who are using Linux or Mac, please try it with your own machine. Actually, I am also installing it for the first time. And before making this video, I have not tried it also. I am doing it for the first time in front of you guys so that's why i got the error and okay but the uh, but there is no difference between this cli and this web interface basically whatever you are doing in this uh, web interface you will do the same thing here in this 
terminal also actually there is a high for the terminal cli right cursor cli gemini cli android cli and clot code so there is actually a hype for the terminal cli agent so that's why they have also published the jewel cli okay so uh, i hope that this new uh, video is helpful for you and you have got to know many things from this video and uh, if you found helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye and one thing i have also published one video today that perplexity comment is free for everyone and uh, there is no waiting list so please do check out this video